Congressman, it is always my belief that we can't talk about the politics of something until we talk about the stakes, what it means for the American people. How would defaulting on our debt undermine our global standing? What would it mean to your constituents and to Americans across this country? Yeah. Uh, thanks, Alicia. What would it mean if we didn't pay our bills? It's the same thing as if you didn't pay your bill uh, at home. Uh, you would uh, suffer a, a credit uh, downgrade, and, and any time you would seek you know, credit in the future, you'd be denied. Uh, America pays its bills. Uh, when you rack up a tab uh, for dinner, at the end of the night, you pay, and you don't try and renegotiate with the server uh, or suggest that uh, you shouldn't have been charged as much or someone else was responsible. No, you pay. And, and here, and I think Dems need to be more clear on this messaging, 40 the debt went up 40 percent when Donald Trump was president. So this is really paying much of Trump's tab, uh, paying the billionaire tax cuts that he and MAGA Republicans gave away just in the four years that he was in office. And so if the Republicans don't want to be responsible for paying these bills, uh, then it's my constituents, uh, your viewers, Americans who will pay. Uh, they'll pay with their job. They'll pay with their savings. Uh, they'll pay with benefits. All that will be cut uh, if we default. They, what Republicans are trying to do is they're trying to have a budgetary conversation in, in a debate that really doesn't have anything to do with the budget. And in part of that, they have this wish list of spending cuts, right, and ways in which they would tinker with certain entitlement programs. What do those cuts mean for the American people? Yeah, you know, the cuts reflect this own the libs mindset now where they're reflexively against anything that Democrats are for. Democrats want to protect Ukraine from a Russia invasion. Republicans are always the party standing up against Russia. Well, it's Biden's war, so we're going to be against it. Democrats want to protect the Capitol Police officers and, you know, the FBI and, and people who are on the front lines. Now this back the blue party, you know, doesn't back the blue, they back the coup. And here uh, we want to raise the debt ceiling just as we did three times without any drama under Donald Trump. And they're just reflexively against it. And so my constituents are seeing uh, that, you know, potential uh, borrowing that they're doing for mortgages, uh, you know, small business loans, uh, their children's 529 plans uh, to go to college. They're all at risk right now uh, because of this, as I said, this high stakes own the libs mindset to just reflexively oppose anything Democrats do. And also, I, j I just want to tell you, when my Republican colleagues talk about this, what concerns me is they act like it's a government shutdown. Also really bad, also irresponsible, but they act like if we default, you can just turn it back on. You cannot undefault. And, and that's what I want to make clear, again, in our messaging. We cannot undefault. Once we do that, our credit status will forever reflect that, and too many people will suffer because of it. I mean, all of the economic growth that we've seen, right, the, the jobs numbers that we've seen, they're going to backslide in the millions. You can look at the analysis that the CBO has done. You can look at the analysis that Treasury has done. It is right there in the number. Here's the thing. I'm sure you hear this a lot when, when you were in district, which is people say, well, I've seen this before, right? This is what happens every time you guys talk about the debt limit, and it always turns out okay. I think what is making people like me nervous is that this is a different Republican Party. Even if it is just a fraction of the Republican Party that you are dealing with, the members of Congress that you are dealing with, I don't know that they understand the consequences here. And I think that changes the contours of the process, right? This is not sitting down and negotiating in good faith as though everyone is mindful of the consequences, both the political consequences of this and the global potentially economic catastrophic consequences of this. How then do you want to see the White House proceed? Yeah. Uh, again, to just speak more clearly, we're going to pay Trump's tab uh, because America pays its bills and, and really put the Republicans, you know, on defensive play on their side of the field. And by the way, we already have work requirements in place. They want the work requirements to be so harsh that a cancer patient uh, would have to work to get their, you know, health care benefits. Uh, as far as the national debt, it is actually going down under President Biden. It goes down every time a Democrat is in office. So